Hi everyone, my name is and I'm 15 years old. I'm from London and I came over for a day to join this amazing conference where we have all come together to celebrate each other's triumph over our own personal challenge. I came to Eretz Yisrael for the very first time last winter in Kislev to join the Dr. Fluency program. I was hooked straight away after just the first initial session because in all my years of therapy I have never come across such a realistical and logical approach to attain fluency. I stayed for eight weeks and went on an amazing journey that took me through an intense crash course where I mastered the fundamental concepts of this program. Mr. David Harris, who heads up the fluency, and his amazing, accommodating team were so eager to help. They went all out to give me all they could in the relatively short time that I was there. Mr. Harris took me under his wing and was personally involved in every stage of my journey. His dedication, input, and hours he gave away for me were unbelievable. My journey didn't and doesn't end there. We all know the struggles and effort we have to put in so that this new way of speaking should become a part of our natural speech, should become Hergel Nasateva. But we are backed by Siata Deshmaya and by Dr. Fluency, whose wonderful group stay with us all the way. When I think about my journey to fluency, it comes to mind two beds. One is spiky, filled with nails, really uncomfortable, but easy to get to. The other bed, although really comfortable, is reached by climbing many, many flights of steep steps. Hard, but the reward makes it worth it. That is my journey to fluency. Difficult, but the reward makes it worth it. Hashem gave us a tremendous gift called speech. Like the Ramban explains, that the Kaya Chadeba that Hashem gave humanity is from Hashem Himself and not from the four Yosidas that Hashem created Shema and Ba'oret and everything in it. The Chavat Chaim explains that the Kaya Chadeba that Hashem gave to us works without our input. All other pe'ilas that a person does can only happen with a Rotan Ha'udam. And if you will be Messiah Das, not only won't it happen, but I can sometimes harm him. Example, when a builder knocks a nail in a wall, if whilst banging on the hammer, the builder will not concentrate, not only will he miss his target, but he will likely harm himself. The same is when one drives a car, and for every pillar one does. But speech is different. Hashem gave us a big gift, that we can bring out syllables from our mouth without any previous machshava. If a person wants to say, for example, the word Vaidabar, a word forms on its own, without him having to work out how the five letters are being formed. Although those five letters all come from different sources up and down. The Vav is formed by the lips, the Dalas by the tongue, the Vais by the lips, and the rise from the teeth. He doesn't have to concentrate how to put those five letters together. And when he puts his tongue between his teeth to create sounds, he doesn't have to be careful that his teeth shouldn't clamp and bite his tongue. Everything happens automatically. Although, we at Dr. Fluency do need to concentrate on our target. We do need to give thought to our gentle onsets and voice curve. But let's be grateful to Hashem for his tremendous gift of speech that we can automatically express and create the words we are looking to verbalize. So yes, I want to thank Hashem Barabim that I can stand up and give this speech. I want to thank Hashem for directing me to Dr. Fluency. And I want to say thank you to you, Mr. David Harris, for everything you have done and are doing for me. And to Shashana Aleya, who are always there for me and continue to work with me to help me reach my full potential.